let's not pretend like we are surprised. We all saw this coming. Brittany Griner, since the nine years in a Russian prison, prison penal colony, is that's what they call it. Let's read on with this article. This article is from the New York Times. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Let's read a little bit about what they're talking about. And, and guess who doesn't like it? President Biden called the sentence unacceptable and filed to pursue all avenues to bring the American basketball star home. Her case has become mired in the conflict between Moscow and Washington over Ukraine. But let's read it. The latest developments, let's check it out. A Russian judge on Thursday sentenced the American basketball star Brittany Griner to nine years in a penal colony after finding her guilty of bringing illegal drugs into Russia, according to her lawyers. The sentencing ended a closely watched trial that her supporters say made her a pawn in an intense geopolitical showdown over the war in Ukraine. The guilty verdict was virtually preordained in the legal system in which defendants are rarely acquitted. It leaves Ms. Griner, Ms. Griner's fate subject to diplomatic negotiations between Russia and the United States. The countries have been discussing the possibility of a prisoner exchange that would bring Ms. Griner home from Russia where she has been detained since mid-February. Officials in Moscow had said that no prisoner exchange was possible until after a verdict. The United States maintains that Ms. Griner should not have been detained and that she is being held by Russia as a bargaining chip. First of all, in my personal opinion, that's, that's a cop out. Because what's being buried in all of this is the accountability of Brittany Griner. See, and, it, and this is a little bit thing. She actually, first of all, she admitted to bringing the drugs into Russia. Now, from what I understand, she's been playing in Russia and countries overseas on and off, well, Russia specifically, on and off over the years because over there they make, WNBA players make more, a lot more money overseas than they do in the U.S. And Russia is one of those countries where over the years Brittany Griner and other players from the U.S. make a lot more money over there than they do in the WNBA over here. So uh, all these times that you went over there it never occurred to you at any point in time to, to find out what the laws are. And, and another thing that's been buried that the blame squarely goes on Brittany Griner. You have a problem, a, a substance abuse problem, if you can't not do cannabis oil until at least wait till you get back to the United States. You have to have known their, their drug laws. If that's what you do, if that's your recreational outlet, uh, relaxation or whatever you want to call it you would think that you will learn what the laws are in Russia before trying to bring something like that over there. and all the times you've been over there not, not once did you get an inkling of how strict Russia is on, on any kind of drugs cannabis oil or anything even close to that you, it never came across your brain never came across your desk that you know what they have a zero tolerance policy over here. Maybe I should leave my cannabis oil at home. And then when I get home, hey, smoke away. It's, just, it's, it's legal in the state that I'm from. I don't know what, what state you should live, but there's a lot of states where marijuana and cannabis oil is legal. So you, you wait till you get home, then you can smoke your brains out. But no, you had to have it with your Russia. It just that just means you have a problem.
friend with you. And, and maybe the time that you're about to spend in prison, maybe this, this will give you a chance to detox and, and get away from smoking. Period. That's, that sounds like what you need to do. Just, just not smoke. Because obviously you've developed a problem over the years. And, and maybe this time in a Russian prison would, would do you good so you can detox. As far as the prisoner swap and all that, I, I don't agree with that. Because the prisoner is, what they're talking about swapping, is a known terrorist. A known arms dealer. This guy is dangerous. I mean, when he gets out, he goes back to Russia. He would be a future enemy for the United States. He won't hesitate to, whatever his job was, to do the same thing he was arrested for in the first place in the U.S. He's going to be doing the same thing. He's going to be helping Russia plot to attack Americans abroad and if they and if they ever get a chance over here but you mean to tell me it's okay to exchange a terrorist for a basketball player who should have known better because it wasn't the first time she's ever been to Russia from what I understand so at what point do we place the brand we place the blame on Brittany Grant she's a full grown adult and it doesn't matter. I don't care about any of the, the skilled community stuff. That that has no bearing here. It's about it's about right and wrong. You should have known it was legal. And I have a hard time believing that nobody has ever told her or informed her that this is zero tolerance drug policy in Russia. I have a hard time believing. She had the chance to save herself by at least learning about the country, learning the laws of the country you're going to be working in. And I'm not saying you got to know all the laws like an attorney would, like a Russian attorney would know them. But you should at least know the laws that can get you in a lot of trouble, like the laws that will end up putting you in prison, maybe. You would think common sense was set in there. You would realize, you know what, it's probably in my best interest at the very least to know these laws. Especially since I'm a smoker, maybe I should look up their laws regarding any kind of cannabis oil or marijuana. I say it was cannabis oil cartridges. Those have a little bit of THC in them, which is illegal in Russia. But now you have all the lip tires and democratic blind sheep folders talking about, oh, they're wrong. They're just using this because of the bargaining. Using her as a bargaining chip for the United States so they get you know, something in exchange. Well, they wouldn't be able to do that if she didn't put herself in this position in the first place. She made it easy for this to happen. So when, at what point does the blame go on Brittany Grant? And I tell you straight up, I don't feel sorry for her at all. It's her fault. She put herself in that situation. She put herself in that position. Whenever you put yourself in a situation that works out bad for you, and you're an adult, it's up to you to figure out a way to get yourself out of it. You got yourself in it, get yourself out of it. So, no, I don't feel sorry for her at all. She deserves to be put in prison like anybody else would have been put in prison for bringing drugs through the airport over there. It's fair. And fair is life. And that's what a lot of these woke liberals don't want to acknowledge. They want to live in what they call their own truth which is a modern woman term, my own truth as opposed to reality and what's true in reality. No, 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 of course not. I don't believe any of that, no, no. 
but she's learning to hire Alyssa right now. So, chalk it up to the game. You chose not to take responsibility for what you were doing. You got caught, deal with it. No sympathy here. If you guys like my content, like, share, and subscribe. Show support. Donate with the Cash App. Cobra Clutch 357. That being said, I'm in the win again.